All right, so we have a mini dactyl here. This is a very small little glider. These are actually designed for like B engines. Uh, we are set up with a 13 millimeter setup though, so we're flying on a one half A motor tonight. And so this is an old Century kit. We're gonna let the world see what it does. So we've got a light. All right, we're rolling whenever you are ready. And it is up there. I don't know if y'all can see the glider. I don't even know. Oh, there's my pod. I'm not getting my glider back. I can tell that right now. It is drifting like crazy up there. The wind drift is non-zero. That's the problem with these, they are practically disposable. Alright, I saw it down. Alright, miracle of miracles. I got it. It still exists still have it. Dinged up the leading edge of the canard there, but that was a pretty hard hit when it dove out of the tree. But, there you go. Such a delightful little thing. They fly so well, so easy to fly. You just add nose weight right there, and it goes. That's all there is to it. Alright, mini dactyl, round two of its craziness. Alright, Paul, let's Got the, got continuity. Look at all the way in. All right. Now just yeah. stand there and give us a countdown. Give us right next to it. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Separation was a little <laughs> early, but. Oh, I guess the canard. Looks like it's doing fine. Yeah, I don't think I did a good job of putting it on. Nice. Go. All right, do it again. What's this called? Okay. What kind of plane is it? A canard. Uh huh. How do we launch it? Yeah. No, no, no. How do? What's what's it design? How's it designed to be launched? Is this all of it, or is there something else? <laughs> what did we just load up? A engine. Uh huh. What kind of engine? O four nine. <laughs> yeah right. All right, throw it one more time. It Show C six. Yep. All right, go get that and let's uh, let's load it up. Okay. So I've got the engine loaded up. Fragile. Yeah, well, if it's fragile, you're not gonna throw it around like that, right? Yeah. yeah turn it around this way. Okay, go ahead and hook up your igniter clips. I may need it. Here, I'll hold this up for you. Just do one at a time. There you go. You have to pull the other one around to it. There you go. Oh, all right. We're going to hope that it just holds like this. Yeah, maybe not. Go get one of those uh, clothespins from Mommy. Yep. Guess who's stuck here holding this thing? Lame sauce. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that's good. Alright, slide your glider on. No, no, no. No, no, no. Down like this. There you go. No, all the way down. In place. Just like that. Okay, so... 
rocket is loaded up. Looks really nice. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Okay. All right. Go ahead and check for continuity. So plug your key in. Yeah. Going in five. No, go. No, you, you got to plug, plug the key, key in, and then you have continuity. All right, we've got continuity. Cool. Going in five, four, three, two, one. I heard the igniter go. So, pod is going down way off in the distance. Got a line on that. that glider is some kind of up there. Come on, let's go get it. You stay with Daddy with the glider. Well, come on. I don't recall these gliding this well. This is uh, spicy. Caleb, you still got a visual on it? Yes. Good. Hey. Look at that thing go. Just look at it. Talk about floaty. And that covered a lot of ground. I'll leave that. Look at that. And nice. All right. So we apply just a little bit of force in the right place. Oh, yeah. And there it is. Thank you. So what do you think of that one? Good. It's good? That's all? And it's powerful. Yeah? I will say that uh, that Quest C63 is a little on the wimpy side, but then this airplane is designed to fly on a D12-3. Alright, so Maxi Dactyl on a D12-5. Here is your key, sir. Alright, you gotta yeah, lift the lid. There we go. Check for continuity. Five. Hold on. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, pod's coming down. I lost my pod. Well, we'll be building another pod, I think. The glider is up. Man, is it up there. Good thing we've got a tracking bug on that glider. Hey, I can't, I can't get a large step so and grab the plane. And <laughs> Man, that is up there. Yeah, your pod blows. It is almost completely dead calm out here. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but. I think it's going to end up in a tree here, unfortunately, because it's we did wind correction, and the wind is not so much there. Yeah. And then over the trees, 
and back out over the front of them. And stopped. We're talking about back here a bit and I don't know if you guys can even see this. There it is. Right there. This is one of those needle in a haystack situations where we found the needle. Right there. Talk about slipping down through this stuff. I had a better line on it than I thought. We hear beepings yeah. right now. Here's the deal. Watch this. All right, so that means you're pointing almost right at it. So keep going that direction. Pick the tree that it's kind of pointing out and go towards it. Am I on the right track? I think so. All right. So let's point it around. All right, we gotta turn the attenuator down. Where's the attenuator? No, oh, attenuator's on. Never mind. So let's go to the volume knob, not the tuning knob. All right. Got signal bounce going on. I know it's about above us. All right. I see an airplane. right there and that's within reach perfect I cannot. so if we look way up there there's the plane yeah, i can see it i can see it moving i can see it moving i believe that videoing and plane retrieving at the same time it's not highly successful. Oh, where is it? Huh. It's right there. All right, we'll come back when I get it back. What you got there? I got the maxi dactyl that Daddy got down, down from a tree. And let's see that little thing that helps us find it. On the bottom? Yeah. So, 1S 100 milliamp battery, and we've got a um, 215, 216 band uh, receiver on there, or sorry, transmitter, and a uh, antenna that I soldered onto it. It's just uh, 10,000 piano wire. Works great. Adds a little bit of weight. Uh, there are more elegant ways to do this, and this is kind of overkill on the battery, but man, works good. And no major dings on any of the plane despite it tumbling through the trees i'll take that that's pretty good hi i'm josh finn this is hope we are j&h aerospace if you like this video hit the like button also how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them thanks for watching <laughs>